everyone welcome back to today's episode so what i'll be doing is i'll be teaching you how to make sponge cake yes sponge cake just as the way you heard the name sponge is going to be like sponge yes so we will need a hand mixer we need these two bowls to separate our eggs so we need our egg white and we need our egg yolk separated from each other we need our spoons these are vinegar and our sugar yes so let's separate our eggs so what we'll do now is to break the eggs so what you do you have to be careful so that you drop it gently yes like that and you do the same thing with the other egg you drop it gently the reason is you don't want the eggs to split and the egg yolk mixing with the egg white so all i'll just do now is to use my spoon to take it off like that be very gentle yes i'll do the same with this yes so i've gotten some egg white here i'll try to scoop it out yes make sure you don't have any drop of egg egg yolk so this is it i'll set it aside yes so what i'll do now is to this one over eight teaspoon so i need half of that i need half of that for my vinegar just need like a pinch yes to set this aside as well yes so what we'll do now is to mix on medium so mix on speed 2 for like 30 seconds so what you do now we are dividing the sugar into two so we are going to pour it gradually into it for us to get our stiff peak yes so So this half, we are setting it aside. So, we are not there yet, we need a stiff peak. So I will now mix on a low speed, that's speed number one. So what you, another thing, way you can be able to test this is by turning it over. This is it, it's a stiff peak. So what I'll just do now, I don't, I want everything. So I'm going to set this aside. So I'm setting this here. So in a separate bowl, I'll bring back my sugar. You have to take, make sure everything is out. Yes. This is my warm water. So all you just do is to mix and make sure that it's coated, it's well coated. Yes, everything, the water is coated, well coated with the sugar. You mix. Now I'm going to add my egg yolks. You mix, you mix for one minute.
that is it so i'll be adding in my vanilla essence so i'm just going to add in my vanilla essence yes then i'll go in and add in my oil yes so all you just do is to go in and mix this is a very simple sponge cake recipe it's very easy to make So I'm going to hold on and on my oven. Yes, so I'm going to preheat my oven at 175 degrees Celsius. Yes, so while it's preheating, I'm going to cut half of this egg white into my mixture. Then I'll gradually fold it in. I'm not going to over mix. All I'll just do is to fold it in. So while that is there, I'm going to take my old sieve that has always been doing its work. I'll add my cornstarch. My flour. And baking powder. All you just do is to sift it in. Make sure you sift your ingredients. Yes, so I'll set this aside. So all you just do now is to continue folding in. Gently fold. Gently fold. The reason is because we don't want to break the air, the air that has already been trapped in the egg white. So we are going to do this in three parts. We are adding it in three parts. So I'm adding in the last of it. So make sure you scrape everything. Yes, you make sure you scrape everything. Scrape, scrape, scrape. Scrape every single thing. These are all parts of the recipe. So if you don't scrape it, you are losing out. So make sure you scrape everything. I'll set this aside. Yeah, so I'm adding in our salt. So all you do now is to continue folding. Yes, so this is it. So this is it. Can you see? Look at it. This is how your butter is supposed to look at the end of everything. Yeah, so beautiful, guys. And very airy. So much air. Yes. So all I'll just do now is to bring... This is my 8-inch pan. It's lined already, as you can see, lined up with parchment paper. So all I'll just do now is to transfer my butter into it. Thank you. 
make sure you scrape scrape everything out like i said it's all part of the recipe yes so this is it so i'm baking this at 175 degrees celsius for 20 to 25 minutes so you have to check it once start checking it once it's 20 minutes yes so i'm putting it in my oven yes guys so this is our sponge cake can you see see the air the air bubbles what it has made yes guys so i actually allow this cake to cool for 30 minutes you can see i can easily touch it yes so let's talk about the recipe so this recipe is something i did for demonstration sake yeah so if you want to do a six inch two layer cake you multiply the recipe by two if you want to do a six inch three layer you multiply the recipe by three this is an eight inch pan so if you want to do this for demonstration but if you want to make a normal eight inch two layer cake you multiply the recipe by three do you get what i'm doing or what i'm saying you multiply the recipe by three i hope you understand so i'm going to open it out for you to see the way it looks so you just use the knife to push it out push it by the side Yes, so what we'll do now, so we'll smart down. Yeah. Voila. So you have to remove the parchment paper gently, gently, gently. So you remove it all out. Yes. So like I told you, I was just doing something for demonstration sake. So can you see? Very spongy. A regular, normally a regular cake wouldn't be this spongy. But because of the air, a lot of air that has been incorporated into it, you can see? Very spongy. So one thing you can do for presentation sake is to scrape out with your hands. If you just scrape it out. Yes. You scrape it out to bring out the look. Yeah. Usually, I normally use my hands to peel off this side as you can see to peel it out because this side usually has more egg taste yes so this is it can you see so you can still scrape these ones out but this is fine this is what we don't need we don't need the top this is very eggy it tastes the egg taste here is very intense so this is it note my hands were washed before i did that yeah so can you see very spongy yes so guys that is it yes Yes, guys. Yes. 
yes guys so i hope this video was helpful yes i hope you've learned something new yes so please kindly like this video subscribe to our channel please don't forget to hit the notification bell below so that whenever i upload a new video you'll be the first to be notified always remember that one day at a time is the best to meet in our next episode please stay safe and bye